Well, good morning. Just grabbing everything I think I need out of the shop. I think I got it all. That probably means I don't. Uh, everyone's been wanting to see, not everyone, like four people, have been wanting to see uh, some more of the repair work I do. Because I do a lot of mobile repair work. So getting the truck loaded up, because today we're gonna do that. So I pulled the dollies out of the truck. Got an air compressor, that's a five million pieces of recovery gear and stuff up there. Whole bunch of tools and stuff thrown in here because today we're gonna go do repair work all day. Okay, wow, it's bright. Okay, today, dang, we are gonna head over to one of the local U-Haul stores and uh, they say I had a truck there with a bad battery, one that's leaking oil out of the diff and something else. And then we're gonna go to another one of the, dang, u-haul dealers up in uh, redmond where they've got a truck check engine light on and then a uh, trailer with a flat tire so we're gonna go get all those taken care of and see if there's anything else they need done while we're there and the ghost controls gate is still working very happy okay we are here and our first truck is whoa turn around camera is this one here and it says it's leaking um leaking out the differential so <sighs> oh definitely oil leaking out the diff oh way worse than that look over here that would be a blown wheel seal so i bet whatever's on here is just what ran off over here so uh, blown wheel seal, that's a much bigger job. Uh, the whole axle shaft has to come apart and everything there, take it all apart, everything. So that will be a shop repair, not a parking lot repair. So this one, we're going to leave it here for now and deal with it later, either at the shop or send it to U-Haul's shop. But that's not a parking lot job. Okay, after walking around for 10 minutes, trying to play the game of where is the truck, there's five million of them here. Uh, this one here is, uh, this one is our truck. So complaint on this one is the battery keeps going dead and won't take a charge. So what we're gonna do is a battery test to see if it fired right up. So, huh. They said they had the charger on it all day yesterday though. Uh, so I'm gonna do a battery test on it and see if it's a bad battery, bad alternator, or if there's an electrical draw somewhere. Okay, so we're just letting it warm up while the scan tool gets all connected and linked up. This is a Zurich ZR15 from Harbor Freight. And no, they still don't sponsor me. All right, no trouble codes, which is good. So we can go to function test, uh, battery alternator test. Let's test the battery first. Vehicle not moving, vehicle in park, blah, blah, blah. Continue. Turn the engine off. Turn the key to the on position. Turn on the headlights. Continue. Now it is going through and running the headlights and checking power draw on the battery, voltage of the battery, and whatever other stuff it checks, but it tells us if the battery's good or not. So, almost done. Okay, turn off headlights. Headlights off. Continue. Start the engine one time. We have a battery status warning. So the battery dropped down below what it should have and all that. It should have gone down to 10 volts. It went down to 7.1. So it was at 11.9. Okay, so that battery should probably be replaced. But let's do an alternator test since we're here. Okay, for the alternator test, engine running, headlights on, continue. Increase engine speed to 2,000 RPM and hold there until the countdown reaches zero. So our engine RPM is displayed on here. 
bring it up to 2000 timer countdown just try to hold it steady and fast forward to three two one zero turn the headlights off reduce engine to idle speed and it is thinking about what it saw alternator status good charging all voltage within specifications good so so we now know that it is the battery needs to be replaced, not some sort of electrical draw or a bad alternator causing it to go dead. So we can replace the battery without worrying about wasting money replacing the battery if we didn't have to. Okay, I just pulled the battery tray out and these are all totally loose. So I'm gonna tighten them up and run the battery test again and just make sure that's not the issue. Okay, battery test. Yes, all good. Headlights on, door shut so it doesn't beep at me. Continue, countdown, fast forward. Two, one, zero, turn headlights off. Continue, start engine one time. Oh, and look at that. I don't know if you can see there, but battery status, good. Did not drop below its threshold, everything fine. I just pulled those terminals off, wire rushed them all clean, put them on and tightened them and everything's fine. So we do not have to put a battery in this. That's why you always check. Okay, so I got the battery tray put back away, everything's tightened up, wire brush clean, good. So I'm letting it run for a little bit just to make sure that battery tops off just fine. And it went from sunny and clear to now cloudy. See, it's still sunny over there, but the clouds are rolling over. So maybe that rain and snow is coming, which means I better hurry up and get all this stuff finished. Yeah, I'm doing the walk up and down the street trying to find the next truck. There's a million of them. And uh, the temperature just plummeted. And I don't know if you can see or not, but there's some snow flurries starting to fall. So that always makes working on trucks outside fun. Okay, grab one of the spare tires out of their tire rack. Just topping it off on air before I bolt it on. Uh, I have the compressor in there. It's just sitting there right now. I'm going to mount it up above that uh, pump. For the wheel lift so then everything in that corner is like uh the pump the air compressor all that mounted in the truck and then i put these boxes back in here so that i have my toolboxes i just had to kick them in an angle a little bit to work with the shell but that actually worked out really nice so got some more organizing to do to set this all up and it should work out pretty good okay the tires on and torqued down uh just ran back and grabbed this is a foxwell TPMS tool apparently does a bunch of other stuff too I don't know just yet because the first time I've used it uh, they sent this to me for free to review so I'm not going to tell you how good it is or anything like that because I don't know yet uh, this will be its first try so let's see turn around camera there we go um, got to activate the sensor in this tire so sensor we're in the US I'm probably going to skip all this because you guys don't care. Okay, the important part. Sensor activate is what we need to do. And we want to go to right rear. Right rear. Oh, press the button. It is activating, I guess. Uh-huh. Yeah, do your thing. Okay. Okay, let's go see if that did anything. Front right, front left. Left right, it reads. I put it to 70 pounds, it shows 70 pounds. So I guess this thing works. But again, I'm not gonna tell you this thing is so great or it works real good or anything like that because that's the first time I've used it. So I don't know if it's all that good or not. Um, Apparently it activates uh, key fobs and all that stuff too. I had to go through and see all what it does, I don't know. But uh, you know I'm not gonna pretend it's the best thing ever because they sent it to me for free. So I'm gonna do things like, uh, you know, throw it, maybe kick it a little bit, maybe step on it, 
I don't know. Hmm. Still on, so that's a start. Huh. Okay, let's put it back in the truck. Really? It couldn't have landed any more center under the truck. I guess that's karma. Still seems to be in one piece. We will continue to test it. After a month or so of holding up to that, I'll tell you if it's any good or not. Okay, we got all the tools cleaned up and put away. So we are out of here. Uh, they're gonna send parts for that uh, wheel seal. U-Haul likes to send their own parts because they source them a whole lot cheaper than I could buy them. So they're gonna send parts for that and then some point later I'll come back and replace that, I guess. But for now, we're gonna head up to Redmond uh, to another U-Haul dealer where they got, I think, a couple of trailers and uh, another truck that needs some work done. So we'll go see what they have up there. All right, we are here in Redmond. And it is now, as you can see, sunny and bright. And uh, it warmed up over 10 degrees in just that little 10 miles we went to get here. So let's go figure out what trucks we got to work on and what's wrong with them. Okay, it looks like we have uh, two trailers and one truck to work on. Actually, one's a tow dolly. Um, with a blown tail light, I have the other tail light right here. Uh, the other one is a uh, trailer with flat tires. We'll do the same thing where we just uh, swap the tire with another spare that they have, and then the other's a truck that won't start, and don't know whether it won't start because it cranks over and won't start, or it just won't crank over at all like dead battery. Uh, that wasn't in the notes, so we'll go see if we can find this one first, and then go from there. Okay, so this place is always windy and it's right on the side of the highway so it's always noisy so I got my little microphone with the wind muffy deal hopefully you can hear it but this is our problem as you can see it's uh, broken wire in the plug so not easy fix so we got a whole new plug and everything we just got a wire onto here and then put it all back in place okay so a pro tip for working on these uh, tow dollies if you take here, pull the ramp part way out, you got a place to sit down and do your wiring. Very handy. Okay, so here's one of those things that makes me feel kind of dumb. I have this adapter from seven way to four way that I use to plug into these trailers and test lights. I could also use the power probe, I do this a lot. And as you can imagine doing this like almost daily, I plug into a lot of these trailers. So this little adapter gets used a lot. What I just now realized, right now, is this truck has a four flat plug and the seven way. I don't need an adapter, just plug it in. Anyway, uh, the light works, as you can see. The one on the other side's working, so our wiring's good, and on these, um, butt connectors and go. Good enough. We don't solder and get all fancy because that plug and that light are going to get changed on this trailer a hundred times over its lifetime. Soldering it all in there is kind of a waste. These trailers get used non-stop. They go through salt environment and everything else. That light is going to be in and out of this trailer, like I said, a hundred times over its lifetime. So butt connectors and go. All right. We've got that trailer all buttoned up, uh, electrical taped the wires up, put the light back in and just got it riveted back in place. So it is done. We're gonna run up here and try to find this truck that won't start and see why it won't start. And then see if we gotta go swap out the tire on that other trailer. Okay, where are you? Not you, not you, not you, not you this one it gets really confusing on which truck you're supposed to work on okay so turn key on and nothing happens so we'll pop the hood oh it's already popped and see if we have voltage at the battery where are you okay are you kidding me Maybe that's why it doesn't start. Oh man, people suck. Okay, so this is the one I'm supposed to work on. I looked down the line and noticed another popped hood. 
So what do you think we're gonna find? Oh, imagine that. So now the question is, how many of these trucks are missing their batteries? Let's continue. Oh, this one still has one. Look at that. Okay, all those ones down that way are good. Uh, that's getting closer to the actual store, so we'll go the other way. Because maybe that's as close as they dared to get to where there might be cameras and all that. So let's go look at these ones up here. So I checked all the other trucks that are out on the road parked in the lineup and only those two are missing the batteries. Uh, I talked to the guys up front and they said that on Saturday night the alarm did go off and the cops responded out here. Um, but they didn't find anyone or anything going on, but I would bet that is why the alarm went off. So I'm going to run up here to the parts store, grab a couple more, bring them back, put them in, and those should be good to go. Okay, we just ran here to Napa. Got a couple Group 65 batteries. I know it's really noisy. But now we can head back and go throw those two batteries in. And we're back, just like that. So let's start with this one. Okay, batteries in the second one too. Well, imagine that, now it starts. 12.01, actually I think that's about what time it is, so that's close enough. All right, our job here is done. So that's batteries in both of them. Um, they both start and run. It's like 12.05, so the clocks are close enough to set. I don't need to redo that. And I think we're all good to go here. All right, both those trucks are done. Just got the keys dropped back off uh, up front there. And we're headed out of here. Uh, that was between the two dealers. Uh, five trucks in two trailers on the list. And uh, everything is back ready to go out on rent except for that one truck with the blown wheel seal. Uh, but as soon as the parts show for that, we'll get back on that. So I would say it's a pretty good day. Uh, this is my normal day. I do this type of stuff far more often than I do the towing and all that. But this is what I've never really filmed because I always thought it was boring. But a bunch of people want to see it. So what is going on? Oh, that was kind of a ballsy move. Sorry, people crazy. But yeah, maybe we'll uh, film some more of it. Maybe we won't. I don't know. But for now, that is it for today. I am going to head back home and uh, get everything unloaded out into the shop, get the truck cleaned up a bit, and call it a day. So until then, we'll see you guys next time.